All right, guys, so I'm messing around with Instagram filters today because I have not put any makeup on or anything, so um, I'm just using Instagram to film this bit of the video. Like, my hair is a mess. I'm going to get it cut later, so I'm not washing it yet. Um, and no, this is not my natural eye color. My eye color is blue, but not that light. I just thought it was fun to mess around with. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, my merch collection. This was my friend Brianna's idea off of Bookstagram, and um, it's probably going to be a longish video. I'm going to try to make it not be long, but what I'm going to do right now is walk you kind of around my house so you can at, and then I will pull it all off like the walls and wherever it's hanging and whatever, chilling, and I will do like close-up videos of like my art prints and all of that stuff. So that's what I'm... Okay, so you guys are kind of getting like a walkthrough of my house. Please don't mind all of the mess. Um, so over here, like this is my bookshelves and I'm not going to do a tour of that right now. I did not clean. I mean, I've been cleaning, but I did not pick up anything. I'm not going to do a tour of my bookshelves right now. That's going to be in a different video because I would just take way too long. So the thing that's over here is this is my like TBR cart, like where all my unread books are. And down here in this bottom is holding candles. And then in that box under there is art prints. So that's where I have that stuff. And then we're just going to walk through my hallway. This is my bedroom. It's kind of messy. But um, I have some more merch in here. This is what I call my nerd corner. So I have my chair with pillows and then I have the shelf up here and I have some pin banners up there. And then over here I have some more art, uh, like a, a, ban a wall hanging and then another pin banner thing right there. Um, that's pretty much all that's in my room. I feel like I don't have that much merch, but then I'm like... I have a lot of small things and I have tons and tons of art prints, but actually right now what I'm going to do in here is turn my light on and then I'm going to come over and talk through all of these things because I'm not going to drag them out. So this is my Gladriel Funko Pop, my Mount Doom candle from Flick the Wick, this is a Sting letter opener I got from Owl Crate, and then this teacup and saucer came from Lit Joy Crate. And then I have an empty uh, Welcome to Hogwarts candle. It was one of the first bookish candles that I ever bought. I have my favorite McGonagall pop. And then this print is um, what I got when I purchased the new Mina Lima um, Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone from Barnes & Noble. They were giving away prints too. So that's fun. And then I have my um, Newt Scamander pop. He's one of my favorites. And then I have some Feyre and rye sand candles. Those are from Flick the Wick. This um, Night Court Dream in a Bottle is from Dream in a Bottle off Instagram. This is a dog tag with rye sand's name on it from um, Acabath when I purchased one of their book sleeves. And then I have a Starfall candle from Flick the Wick, a, a Night Court candle from The Melting Library, I have this quote from Akatar that I got from Flick the Wick, and then my UK paperbacks of A Court of Thrones and Roses. And then over here, I have my Feyre and Rysand um, shelfy characters that I got from A Touch of Magic, Magic Designs. This Rysand and Feyre candle, my best friend gave me from, or for my birthday this year, they are the best. I learn them when I'm reading Akatar. This rye sand candle I got from the Melting Library. Um, this jar back here is just a TBR jar. It hasn't been updated in a while. It's just an old candle jar. This is another dream in a bottle. It says live for more and it's for Red Rising. And then I have a Break the Chains candle from Novelty Yours and a House Mars candle from Flick the Wick. Um, inside of this Howler's box is holding my Fable Bands. I will get those out and show them in the other video I'm going to do. And then over here, I have a pin, not a pin banner. Maybe it's a pin banner, I don't know. A wall hanging that I got from Owl Crate that is for Akatar. And then I have my pre-order print that I got from Bloomsbury for pre-ordering House of Earth and Blood. And then here's a little close-up of these pin banners. Um, this is my Akatar one. I got it from, sorry, I had to get off my chair. I got this pin banner from Flick the Wick and then the pins from various places, I'll discuss that. 
in the other part of this video, this is another pin banner that came from Fairy Loot, I think. I cannot remember the name of the book that it's based off of, but I really don't care. I just needed a place to hang up all my pins. Um, under here I have a Moon Phase banner I got from Owl Crate. I have a, um, what is this? From Strange the Dreamer, but I can't remember where I got that from. I want to say Flick the Wick. And then this is a Lord of the Rings, um pillowcase also that came from flick the wick so that and this is my reading chair um it's in here because our bed our real bedroom is getting remodeled and so we're kind of like smushed in this smaller space but this is my reading chair that will eventually get used for reading not just holding junk and then over here i have a pin banner that i got from blissfully bookish it's meant to be used for something else but I will I'm using it to hold all of my bigger pins and then this is supposed to be a pin banner but it's way too big and it's a strange the dreamer um banner from fabled merch so oh yeah and then the last thing I have is this I don't know if you guys can see this I'm so sorry this is so like bumpy and whatever normally I'm talking to a camera and it's um stable it's not moving but this is a um tapestry that I got from Flick the Wake and the quote is from Throne of Glass and then the other thing I have to show you is this which is also from Flick the Wake and it is a Akatar themed tapestry so this is a lot of my merch is in my bedroom which is totally fine and okay so that is it for this part of the video I am going to um pull out all of the pins and everything and um the candles that I showed you in my TBR car and I am also going to their merch things that I just have in random places and I'll show you guys all close-up videos of that you won't be seeing my face during that part of the video but um you guys will at least be able to get a closer look at where or at the merch and um I will be able to tell you more about where it came from and stuff so that is it for this bit and I will see you in the overhead view. All right guys, so here I am with all of my merch gathered up. Um, like you saw in the first part of this video, I do have quite a lot, but I also have some things that I did not show you in that video and I will be going over them somewhat quickly in this video. So the first things I'm gonna grab are my tote bags and I only have three. But I have this one, hopefully you guys can see that. It says, Libraries Where Shh Happens, and it's from Lit Joy Crate. Also gonna do this while trying not to dump everything on the floor. We'll see how well that goes. The next tote I have is a really nice heavy canvas one from Fairy Loot, and it says, The Court of Terracin on one side, and then the other side, and there goes things. Okay, the other side has a quote on it. It says, so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and no Terracin is forever with them. So that's a really, I cut this one because it's really heavy duty. I really don't use tote bags that much just because I don't really go anywhere or have a need for them. I mean, other than like shopping bags, but these are too nice to use for shopping bags. And the next one I have is a um, Strange the Dreamer one that I got from Owl Crate. So that is my tote bags. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is like all the random little merch that I have. So I have a few things from Dream in a Bottle. You saw a couple in the first part of this video um, for Red Rising and for Akatar. Um, this one is a um from obsidio no gemina hannah and nick and it's just a glass bottle with like glitter in it and then it has their names on the inside and then i have two other ones i have a katie and ezra one also from illumine those are really cute they're just they're cute. They're kind of hard to like display, especially for me because I have small children and I'm paranoid that they're going to break them. But they're really pretty and they're really unique. Um, this one 
says, and now everything is music, which is from Muse of Nightmares, I believe. I can't remember if that's from Strange Dreamer or Muse of Nightmares, but it's one of those two. So those are all of the Dream in a Bottles that I have. The next things on my list are these wands. This one is Lita Lestrange's wand from Fantastic Beasts. Actually, both of the wands I have are from Fantastic Beasts. And then the next one I have is Newt's Wand. I bought this as a Christmas present for myself a couple of years ago. I think his wand is absolutely gorgeous. Um, these are pretty good replicas. They're just resin, but I really like them. I love Newt's um, The Mother of Pearl. That's I think that's what that's supposed to be. It's not focusing. There we go. That's supposed to be like Mother of Pearl on the inside. I don't know. If you guys have seen the movie, um, you know, uh, have a better idea of what it looks like. But I love his wand so much. I think it's absolutely beautiful. 